Hello, my name is Retro Movie Girl. This is my very next video for my Audible Obsession. And the next book that I will be talking about today is Shelter for Sophie by Susan Stoker. It's a very interesting book because Sophie works in a hospital where she was where, where she works with people with burns and how to best treat them before they put on the scrub brush with the best sprays and she just does a lot of research but anyway she's at this place in in the beginning of the book she's at this place called the sloppy cow and her neighbor chief roman is there with his firefighter buddies from station seven this is a series i think this is book eight in the badges of honor series by susan stoker and in i think in book like five or six we find out about sophie and the fact that she stutters as a matter of fact when we first meet sophie she's she's mowing chief's lawn and chief just thinks well she's doing it and you know because her man can't do it so he offers her money to do it but later on we found we find out that through conversation she finds out that his neighbor had a crush on him and has been mowing his lawn for weeks but more importantly chief is a navajo indian and he hears about what Sophie does, and Sophie says some things like, yeah, I, I, I'm so proud I could get those people into the program, and blah, 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 and, you know, it's going to really, she doesn't say anything about it really benefiting anybody, or she's not really specific. She's talking to her friends who also work at the lab, so her friends understand what's going on and how the testing works, how the program works, but Chief, he grew up on a reservation, and sometimes the government would come in and ask the people for permission to perform experiments in order to get payment, very little payment, and they weren't treated very well. So when Chief hears this, he turns around and approaches Sophie and we teach her the right act for what she's doing without actually knowing what's really, what the program, what she's doing is all about he just really hates the fact that she's taking advantage of the poor and in some in instances people who are indigent and can't pay he doesn't understand that maybe the hospital will pay for all of their all of their medical bills as far as the treatment is concerned because it's helping develop better treatments for burns but Chief doesn't understand that and he flies off to a conclusion that, yeah, when he was, maybe the same things that when he was young are happening now and people are being taken advantage of, when that couldn't be further from the truth. So when I come back, I'll tell you my favorite scene from Shelter for Sophie. I'll see you on the other side for the next clip. My favorite scene from Shelter for Sophie is when they've gotten all over the misunderstandings and they're dating and he's like, yeah, he, he has a, his friends have like a little get together and after the get together they go to this little national park or wherever to see the stars and they're, they're laying in the bed of his truck and they're talking and it's just really nice because this place is completely dark. You can't really see anything. All you can see is the stars. And he tells her he loves her, which is really interesting because he doesn't just say that he loves her. He uses the Navajo language to tell her he loves her. The, what I love about Susan Stoker is that she does, like most writers, she does her research and she put a lot of Indian Navajo traditional mention into her book, which is really interesting. She uses the word shiad, which is the, the Navajo word for woman, and she uses another word, which I can't remember right now, for the word I love you. 
it's a it's a lot but i really enjoyed this story because it shows how people's perceptions of a certain culture can be changed she she doesn't mention any of the st stereotypical things that we might think but um her research is very thorough she talks about skinwalkers and the fact that they can't talk about the dead so there's a lot in susan stoker's books and i really appreciate them and really enjoy them and i hope that you enjoy this review and i hope that you'll check out my other reviews for susan stoker and anything else that i've mentioned from audible i'll put a playlist in the corner up here where videos will come down and you can watch them. So, I hope you enjoyed this small little review of Shelter for Sophie by Susan Stoker, and I'll see you in my very next video.